All right, guys, welcome to part four of my complete After Effects course. Today, we're going to look at how to center and move the anchor point. So let's get into the video. <laughs> Alright guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording, welcome to my channel if you're new, welcome back to my channel if you're not, either way, appreciate you tuning into this tutorial. So this is part four of my complete After Effects course, I'm going to take you from beginner to pro, we're all going to learn together. We're still keeping it very basic at the moment, so when we progress onto more complex motion graphics, then we have the basics nailed, so the more complex side of motion graphics are easier to understand. I do suggest that you follow the course through from start to finish. If you haven't already, please go and look at this playlist where the rest of the tutorials will sit. So let's jump into After Effects and we'll look at how to center and move your anchor point. Okay, so here we are in After Effects. I've got a new project open. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna choose the polygon tool and draw a polygon in our project, okay? I'll just move that into the center. Let's just move it over to the left for now, actually. Okay, so if we select W, which is our rotation tool, now if we try and rotate this shape, we can see that in the center of the screen is our rotation point. Okay, so any, anything we do to this shape, so if we swap to our selection tool by selecting V, and we make the shape bigger or smaller or longer or wider, it's all centered around this rotation point, okay? If we go back to our rotation tool, you can see it just rotates around our anchor point in the middle. So everything we do is centered around this anchor point. I might have said rotation point before, I meant anchor point. As default, the anchor point will always be in the middle of the project, okay? Now you can move this anchor point. Now wherever you move the shape, the anchor point will move with the shape, okay? And the shape will always rotate around that anchor point, wherever the anchor point is. But what if you wanted to move the anchor point? Then all you would do is go to your pan behind anchor point tool by selecting Y or clicking on here. And now you can move your anchor point to anywhere within the shape, anywhere within your project also snaps to these snap points on your shape but that is only if snapping is clicked on at the top and you can click this off and then you can just move the anchor point freely around the shape and put it wherever you want you can also click control control on a pc command on a mac or the other way around and you can actually snap it to the points same as the snapping tool but as you can see, snapping's actually off, but you can still snap if you hold down Command or Control. So say we want our anchor point to be here. Now, if we select our rotation tool, W, you can see that the shape is rotating around the anchor point that is now fixed in the middle of the shape. And if we move our anchor point by selecting Y, so if we have it here, and then we go to W to rotate, you can see it will rotate around that anchor point. Okay, so it's useful to know how to move this anchor point. If you want a quick way to center the anchor point in the shape, then all you do, hold down Control or Command and double click on your pan behind anchor point. Okay, and that will just put it in the center of the shape and then you can just rotate it as you wish. If you want the default setting to be that the anchor point is in the center of the shape so that when you make another shape, the anchor point will be in the middle of the shape automatically. You can do that in your preferences. So if you go to edit, preferences, go to general, and then if you click here, center anchor point in new shape layers, and click okay. Now, when we make a new shape, let's make a star, now you can see the anchor point has automatically by default gone to the center of the shape. Okay, and now if you rotate it, then you're rotating around that anchor point that is fixed in the center of the shape. And if you click on this shape, we've got our anchor point in the center of that shape. So that's how you center and remove the anchor points. Again, this is a really short video. I'm keeping them nice and simple, bite-sized at the moment. So we can all learn together, master the basics, and then progress onto the more complicated stuff. 
The aim of the course is to go from beginner to pro in nice bite-sized tutorials. So I hope you found it useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how you're finding the short form videos. If there's anything you think that I should change, let me know so that I can do that for future tutorials. It'd just be great to get some feedback in general. So please do leave me a comment below. It also helps fire me up the old YouTube algorithm so that more people can see the video. If you're not already, please do consider subscribing to my channel. I'm releasing content on a Monday and Thursday at the moment. Audio and visual gear reviews editing tutorials, After Effects course, drone tutorials. The aim is to just share some filmmaking knowledge that I've learned along the way to help you guys and hopefully we can all learn from each other. So please do consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so that I can let you know when new content is released. If you are already subscribed, appreciate you guys as always. Just make sure your notifications are switched on. But that's it for part four of the course and I'll see you in part five. Thank you.